Hey, so today I'm gonna be um, explaining my code and uh, the functionalities of that will also be mentioned and towards the end hopefully we'll have time for a demonstration. So starting off from the back, um, just for general um, coverage, we have here the I overlappable. The I overlappable is an interface class which is a very interesting uh, concept in object oriented programming. It sort of allows the uh, other classes, it, whichever you know class decides to utilize this interface class, to um, sort of set up or define a contract. And the contract that we have here is the overlap method. As you can see, there's no implementation within that. Uh, that is what is utilized with it when it is used. And as you can see here in the room uh, class, if I scroll up a little bit, you can see. Oh, no, room, sorry, the booking.cs. You can see our overlap will be used, and uh, shortly we'll get into the gist of how that works. So, I'm gonna kind of skim through some of the classes just for uh, general coverage due to time constraints. The next class we have here is the um, the iHotel Manager, which is also an interface class, and in this time around, we've got multiple, multiple different um, contracts, or you can I mean, you can call it contracts if you like, or maybe even a blueprint, um, a skeleton if you like. Also, so these uh, these methods here, uh, this allows the user to add a new room and set up their own implementation for that. This is for the manager, of course. Um, the next method allows the user to delete the room, and we'll shortly go into the uh, way it's actually used. It it obviously be used um, across uh, across the other classes. Well, the relevant class I'll share with, that with you hopefully. Um, this allows for, I mean, the ability to, um, to, to to obviously have multiple have multiple different um, different methods within you know um, extending out from that class. The next method we have here is list rooms. This is the ability to list rooms, list rooms by order of the price, which is also an, another function of. Of, of the managerial uh, interface of the sorry the managerial UI of the application, and you have generate report which allows the um, quote unquote manager to generate a report. Really quick, um, got the, the the equivalent for the uh, customer. This is for the customer's UI. The ability to list the rooms that function, uh, and also the ability to list. And we have also here you know uh, method overriding two same methods that take different parameters and um, that's quite interesting actually because that concept I didn't quite wrap my head around it until um, I had to do some further reading into that and here we've got book room so we allow the user to create a room and um, without having to sort of I mean having any implementation within this interface moving swiftly on to the first uh, the first um, not first sorry the the, the fourth um, uh, class is here we've got the deluxe room which starts quite interestingly because we have something called an enum what is an enum I hear you ask an enum is short for enumeration and an enumeration is sort of good to assign different um, constant names to a group um, and in our case here we've got view and the constant um, variables that are part of the view quote unquote type you may even call it to make it more sort of digestible we have sea view landmark view and mountain view we start the class off and the class actually inherits from the room class as a child cl child class to the parent class room and we'll visit that very shortly so here we begin by um you know declaring the um the attributes and that's the balcony and the visibility which is more or less the view and we have our first method here deluxe room and it takes a number of different variables that are covered um within within um sorry attributes that are covered within the design and um due, because we're you know halfway through the video i have to sort of skim through it now and that sort of created there we've got get balcony which does the same i mean sort of returns just the balcony get visibility which returns the view and here we've got the uh, the use of overriding um, a, and then this just simply returns the details of the information of the class. Moving on to the next class, here we've got ourselves the uh, standard room, which is the second room that inherits from the uh, the, the room class. 
um, our attributes are simply window because it inherits the rest of the classes um, that are sort of in the aforementioned. Um, we've got the use of um, the use of overriding again, the same exact uh, exact function or method that we had in the deluxe room, and also again here we've got get windows, which also returns a window. So here moving on to the thick of it, here we have the room, and room has another enum, which is called size, and size the enum size takes three different constant variables and that's the single room the double room and the triple room um here you can clearly see uh, we're also utilizing the i comparable it's quite interesting actually uh the attributes here have been put into a list format which is quite quite cool for organization uh and sort of this method here info of room just simply returns the information of the room that's passed um, and here we've got uh, the constructor below for the room and it takes the parameters of the int number which is more or less the room number the unique floor number and the size of the room as well as the cost how much it costs and there you go you can see here the method of booking an info string which takes some some it doesn't take anything actually it just runs a check with a for loop um, looking to see if um, if if if, uh, if anything is sort of overlapping and here we've also got a similar sort of thing where we add a booking and it also checks uh, to see if there's sort of uh, any overlap bookings and if so then it returns this sort of error code and if it's not overlapping then it allows it to actually add that uh, that room which is quite interesting swiftly moving on to the uh, the actual check this checks if there's any actual overlapping so this is a particular specific um, method that does that uh, when called it runs that check and we'll see it actually being utilized within the actual thick of the code here we've got print and we've just got a number of different um, methods here that simply return the information this is the room number information being returned the cost of the room being returned the floor of the room being returned and the size of the room being returned and we have a few other uh, methods that run some further checks again due to time constraints we're gonna have to sort of get through this we can't have it more than 10 minutes um, so the booking class uh, is the class that actually extends the I overlappable and that means this is where the contract quote unquote or the blueprint is being used the this class this method here as we can see so moving in we've got two attributes and that's the date that's the users checked in um, we've got two uh, I mean a constructor here um, and that takes you know and parameters the time that was checked in or the date that was checked in and the date that was checked out and um, that passes it into these local variables uh, and then here we've got the method that will return the date the user had checked out oh good thing we're looking over it and here will be checked in right so this method does the same thing which just returns the date that the user checked in and this method here is uh is actually checking if the dates match up by implementing sort of uh, an if statement and making sure that that is all running fine and then we've got this final uh, method in here that simply just you know returns information of the check-in and check-out date we're gonna save this before we move on to the Westminster Hotel and the Westminster Hotel actually uses the dictionary as its uh, sort of attribute uh, and that's quite interesting here because we've also got um, some some further methods here where we you actually book the room and this actually um, in i mean takes up the um the interface and it's quite cool because um here we start to actually get into the thick of the actually we'll get into the thick of it on the next one um i'm just going to smooth through it because i've only got a minute maximum 10 minutes on this um a few a few methods here book a room add a room delete a room and also here we've got the um the where the objects actually you know being passed through and we've also got list available rooms which runs a check as well to see if everything's all smooth list available rooms this time with its cost and this one here as general and then we've got a few switch statements really quickly just because we've got 40 seconds left this is the thick of the code where we actually start to bring everything together abstraction encapsulation the inheritance polymorphism um sorry i mean from polymorphism we can call it sort of the method over overriding and also the overloading um, so you can see here main um, we run initially asking the user for his name and then from when we ask the user for his name we then utilize that name to you know invite the user to 
utilize the application saying really nice to have you so and so welcome to our booking application giving them four options whether to view a room to view a room with its cost book a hotel room access the admin functions or even uh, exit the application and we've got a number of different functionalities here and sort of switch statement just sort of queries to see whether the users you know press that first option the second option third option and you i mean subject to the um, option the user chose the user is then uh, sent over to its relevant functions and some of those functions within this cloud and um, so within this class and others are elsewhere so i'll give you an example if the user is uh, it would like to you know access the admin uh, functions they'd simply press four and let's see what happens on case four we've just literally taken to the manager menu uh, and we break from there so the manager menu is this method here and this method simply takes the user to, to utilize that just really quickly if we run the actual code in itself hopefully things should run smooth i'm going to say saeed's application welcome to our booking application what's your name saeed okay really nice to have you saeed welcome to our booking application saeed's app option one view all rooms option two view all rooms and their costs book a room or to book a hotel room access admin functions or exit the application let's say we want the fourth one if we're an admin we then hit enter and says welcome to the administrator booking application managerial menu to add a room press one or so select one delete a room to list the room to list the room and their relevant pricing to compile a report or to return back to the user in 